First, let's get rid of the camera by hiding it by hitting the H key, also the light, but we gonna delete the default cube. Nice. Now, by pressing Shift plus A, we bring the pop-up menu for the main meshes. If you take a closer look, you will see we are missing additional tools. So, we need to bring those tools on the table, click on Edit, then Preferences. And on the search bar we type Extra. Then we enable Extra Objects. Now, as you can see, we have tons of additional tools that we were missing. The one that we need is the Round Cube. On the round cube preferences, let's make some changes. On the radius option we will give it 1. As you can see, this become a quad sphere. Now, for the size, on X, we are going to enter 5.75. So far we have our capsule almost done. On the division option, let's increase the mesh from 4 to 10. Now, let's give it some final smoothness, right click on the mesh, select shade smooth. Then let's give it a normal. It's looking good so far. Hit 1 on the number pad, then tab to enter in the edit mode. Then Shift plus C to get into transparent view. Select these vertices by dragging the mouse and making a square over the end of the capsule. Delete these vertices. Then select the remaining vertices and hit the G key to drag or move these vertices on the X axis. Slightly remain over the left area. As you can see, we have a hollow semi capsule. We don't need it hollow for now, so we can close this gap by previously selecting the vertices, and then pressing F. Now we duplicate this mesh by pressing Shift plus D. Then we click on the outside so it remains selected. Then we hit the R key to rotate it, then we hit the Z key to rotate it on the Z axis, then we type 180 on the number pad, hit Enter. Now, scale this side of the capsule by pressing S make it slightly larger than the other side of the capsule. There you go. Now you just add color material to your capsule and render it.